Javier, how uh, how much did you feel like your old self uh, in this game? You, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, if I, if I got some of that rust off, um, this is getting in rhythm, you know, scrimmaging in practice, uh, getting some extra time up shooting and, you know, handling the ball and doing different passes, just, you know, making sure I feel comfortable, you know, with my wrist and, and obviously with the rushes being off for, you know, that time and even doing some extra running because the condition aspect, not playing in, you know, a week and a half or so, uh, you know, running is, you know, you, is, is, a, is very vital to what we do as a team. So um, I feel like once all that kind of clicked back into place, I felt really good. I think Coach said that you guys <clears throat> And maybe you uh, hurt your wrist again uh, in practice. Uh, what, what what exactly happened? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Severe, so now that you guys are healthy, what do you think this team is Can you hear me now? Severe. So, Okay, so here, now that you're healthy, how do you think? What do you think this team's main goal is between now and the tournament that you need to work on? Um, just um, continue just to get better, continue to clean up things um, on offensive end, defensive end. Um, you know, we're still taking it one day at a time, one game at a time. Looking forward to our next opponent and how we can win that game. Um, you know, our thing is, is the daily pursuit of excellence. Like, how can we get better today? How can we clean up some things? How can we continue to tweak things? Um, because teams are going to try to adjust and try to, you know, make it hard for us. But uh, coaches putting us in positions where, you know, guys get to their spots and, and we make plays from there. It's all on the players. Savio, how is the feeling for you to lead the team on the floor on offensive end and how important for you is to have a big man like Oscar? <clears throat> yeah, um, it's super important, you know, to lead because as the point guard, um, you're kind of the extension of the coaching staff. Um, you know, you want to get the message clear out to the guys, whatever the coach is saying, and um, you kind of want to provide that sense of calmness. Like even when, you know, you face adversity, when a team goes on a run, um, you want to be there, kind of like that level head, even kill person. And um, and also being there as an encourager. And he's like, hey, man, keep going. If, even if you're not shots going, if we can find other ways to impact the game. And if someone is hot, like, hey, I'm going to find you. Keep running. And um, and also going back to Oscar, just his, his interior presence, um, you know, if things not you know going well for us on you know shooting the ball or attacking it, we know we can throw it into there, and he's a he's a viable um, option to get us some baskets like he's shown throughout the season. And um, also defensively with his active hands and um, you know him being able to challenge shots and obviously his ridiculous rate of rebounded, um, you know is once in a lifetime type of thing. So Oscar's, I mean his game and his gameplay and his his statistics speak for itself. But um, you know he's very very important to our team. Yes, yeah, severely. The season can be a pretty good dr grind at, at this time of year, and I'm sure you guys are kind of looking ahead to turn up the play. Is there ever a tendency to just kind of want to get to that finish line, even though you you know you've got a lot of business to take care of? Nah, nah. I don't think there's any of um you know want to get to the finish line, especially with the team that we have, um, and what, what, what we're capable of, the ceiling of our team, and, and what we know how special we are, and you know if we continue to get better each and every day. I'm um, trusting each other, um, share the ball. We know, I mean, we can take this thing pretty far. And um, I, I mean, I've been a part of teams in the past where I was looking for the finish line for sure, but um, not this. I'm, I'm excited to go to practice every day. I'm excited to be around the guys. I'm excited to watch film, be able to interact with the coaches. Um, just so I feel like we can continue to build that edge and continue to get better. Cal uh, referred to, likened you to an you know, outstanding quarterback. And I'm wondering if you've played quarterback. Nah, I never, I, I, never um, I played, I didn't play football at all, really. I mean, I practiced, and um, I was more of a slot slash cornerback in those practices, but uh, I never really got into football. I don't think I played quarterback. I think I'd be a running back or something like that. A <laughs> few couple of games. What? How much pride do you take in maybe trying to show that facet of your game? 
Um, you know, like I said, all the the, the percentages and, and statistics will play out for itself. Um, I mentioned, you know, early in the season, uh, just sticking to the process. Um, you know, you're not going to become a great shooter in, you know, 24 hours. It's going to take for you to make shots in a workout, for you to make shots in practice. Um, and then it's going to carry over to the game. So just staying confident, um, knowing the preparation that I've put in and knowing that the coaching staff has that confidence in me to shoot and to make because I'm making shots in practice. So uh, just staying with the daily grind and, and knowing that, hey, I put my hours in. I deserve to make it. I deserve this opportunity and these opportunities uh, to let it fly and, and know that, and think I should think that is going in as well.